Good evening everyone and welcome to Go Discover Explore. Welcome to episode two, where we're in the middle of a Melbourne COVID lockdown. Unfortunately, I can't get out and go adventuring anywhere at the moment. So this is why I'm bringing you the episode from my little studio here. I will cover off on a couple of items tonight, although I can't be out and about doing a site shoot, but you get that. We must deal with it and move on and try and make the best of a bad situation. We're going to talk about a couple of things in this episode, mainly to do with my camper again, because there's been a few changes that I've made and also to the ute. Um, I also want to talk about some future travel places that I want to go to. Love anybody else's idea or if you'd like me to go somewhere after this silly lockdown's over, um, then please let me know and we'll see what we can do over a weekend or even, or even a couple of days. So during the Melbourne COVID lockdown, I have done a few jobs in and around the car and the camper. First up, the car. There's been a couple of jobs on that I've needed to do, one of which was move the trailer plug to a better location than what it was. It used to sit down under the rear bumper bar I've since moved it up under the tray so it's out of the way and doesn't get any dirt or mud in it, as well as running the lead for the reversing camera, which also sits down on the rear bumper bar. With that, I ordered two 10 meter RCA leads. So they're just a standard video lead running from the head unit all the way down to the back of the ute. There's also a secondary cable running again from the head unit down to the back of the ute, but there's also some length on it so I can connect the camera for the camper up onto that as well. So it gives me two reversing cameras. Safety is better. I've also just upgraded the communications on it. I had an old 40 channel CB radio that I put in. One, it's 40 channels, and two, it started to crack all around the cabling and the handset. So it's time for an upgrade there. I've just picked up the TX3100 GME. So that's probably going to go in this weekend. I'll swap that around. I don't need to swap any of the electricals around because it takes the same plug. And all I need to do is run the antenna lead. Next up, we have the camper. Haven't I done a few jobs on that? So first up, I have done the reversing camera. I've run a lead down from the connector from the back of the video camera, run a splitter from that so it gives me RCA and power separated. And then I've run another lead down from that, down to the bottom corner of the camper, drilled a hole and punched out through the RCA lead for that. So it'll connect up to the connector that I've put onto the bottom of the ute. Next up, I've actually insulated the whole inside of the camper with foil board. So what foil board is, it's polystyrene board with two layers of foil over the top of it. It's only about 10 mil thick and it keeps the inside of the camper nice and cozy. I've finished it off really well. I've glued all the panels on and also covered all the joins and sides with silver tape and just neatened everything up. Also, I've put some pineapple lights up just for shits and gigs, uh, something completely different and something a little entertaining for my kitchen area. I've also put up a dual jerry can holder, one for water, one for fuel. It's now sitting where the spare tire used to sit. I've also had to re-engineer the water side, which is facing outwards. So the customized tap for the jerry can could fit in there properly without me having to take the tap off. I've also installed two tail lights into the back of the camper. Some may ask, is it necessary? I think so from a safety perspective. 
And that's about it on the camper that I've done so far. There's a few other things in plan. What they are, you'll find out soon. I've got two trips in plan. Unfortunately, with the current situation that we're in, I can't do either of them um, and nothing in the foreseeable future, but it's good to really nut the, nut the plans out and get a lot more of the nitty gritty worked out. So kilometers, camping sites, things like that. Uh, also, it's a chance to get everything else sorted out with the vehicle before I go anywhere. The first trip I was supposed to be on this weekend to Kosciuszko National Park with a friend of mine. Unfortunately, the borders got closed and no Victorians were going anywhere. The other trip was supposed to be, well is going to be, sorry, going to be to Western Australia. I'm going to be following the coast from Geelong all the way to Perth as much as I can and up along the Nullarbor I do a left turn I think it is somewhere off the WA side of the Nullarbor and go down towards Israelite Bay and there's another place that I can't quite think of it which should flash up on your screen just about now and that one was planned for later this year October November but again, it doesn't look like I'm going anywhere at this point in time. So next year's my holiday year. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching this episode. If you did like the episode or if you do like what the channel's offering, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe. And if you want to be notified of any more videos that come through, hit the little bell button as well. Thanks very much, guys. Have a great night.